I'm Caroline Nyamburanganga. I'm 30 years old and I'm a mother of one. I was diagnosed with cervical cancer in 2013 and uh, the options I was given were different, but I opted for a hysterectomy, which means I lost my uterus and my cervix. And uh, it means that I might never be able to carry my own child. And that placed me as a secondary infertile woman. When I chose hysterectomy as the mode of treatment, uh, I knew it would come with challenges because even myself, I was not well informed on the challenges that the infertile people go through. And I knew very well that at my age, I will not be able to carry another child. And even people close to me looked at me differently. They thought I'm less of a woman. They thought I would not be able to live a normal life. Infertility is an issue for men and women. Initially, it was a taboo to talk about it. It's so sad that our culture or our tradition believe that it's only women who've been affected by infertility. Therefore, men are staying behind and hiding behind the fact that most people think that it's only women who can be infertile. So we want each one of them to take the responsibility discuss about it and see how they can support each other. And that is why we say it's time to know the consequences and hold the hand of the person who is in question. I believe that the solution lies in accessibility of the correct information because again, we have a lot of information that comes with a lot of means. We need to give the correct information on matters relating infertility to share the responsibility of infertility. Those who have been affected directly, they need to come out and speak about it, share their experiences and their pain. We also need those people around them to support them. We are helping them realize that they too, the infertile men and women, can also be parents. There are other options. We would want to help the society, regardless of the status, be able to access quality, and affordable infertility solutions without stigma.